tipping and the tipping culture in America should probably die, but definitely in states like Washington. Last time I was a waiter was about, I don't know, 10 years ago maybe, and minimum wage was seven something, 725 maybe. And on a quiet shift, you might get 50 bucks. But that quiet shift is only five hours long, 10 bucks an hour in tips, 720, 17 bucks an hour. That's pretty good. You'll do okay. It's not exciting, but again, that's a bad day. On a good day, you'd make quite a bit more. Washington has raised their minimum wage to well north of $15 an hour, and it's tied to inflation, so it goes up every year. Well, that's great. That means the kitchen staff is getting 15 plus, the waiter, the busboy, the host staff, all of them, over 15 bucks an hour. That's great. If you've got a minimum wage couple, they're bringing home, what would that be, 60 grand a year. That's that's pretty good. Uh, you could make some kind of life on that at minimum wage. The problem with the tipping on top of $15 an hour is that now that everyone in the kitchen is getting paid 15 bucks an hour, the food costs more. So not only is, every, you know, the food is one part of the expense, the building is another. Labor is generally a third of your cost. And now in Washington, it's more than a third of your cost because almost everyone in that restaurant, apart from the managers, the cooks would usually get a buck or two over minimum wage, but apart from the managers, everyone was getting minimum wage because you get tips. Now in some states, you only get half of minimum wage or even like 250 an hour plus tips. That should be done away with too. Those people need an actual wage. The restaurants need to pay that wage and not rely on the, on the kindness of strangers. That's ridiculous. But in Washington, they've had to raise the prices of food. Makes sense. I'm all for it. I believe everyone should be getting those kinds of wages. So now, if you go out to dinner, if you buy just a soft drink and an entree, you're easily at 20 bucks a person. So that same waiter on a slow shift, let's say they've got four tables in an hour. Four tables with just two people at each one, that's a very easy hour of work. That's... 40 bucks times four, 160 bucks, right? Times 15%. Wow, we're at $24 just on the tip, plus 15, they're making 40 bucks an hour. That's, that's great, that's amazing. But I'm not excited about it. That's a lot of money, because I'm paying extra on the food and now I'm paying an even larger tip because the bill is higher. And don't get me wrong, I'm, 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 a, I'm a kind tipper. I've worked in restaurants. I understand how this works. They got to get paid. But 40 bucks an hour, huh, it's insane. So, well, you know, the, that's unfair because EMS workers only get, you know, $20 an hour. Yeah, I think EMS workers should get more than that. EMS workers have the, a very difficult, very dangerous, very stressful job, and they get paid very poorly. It's a separate matter and one that definitely needs to be addressed. In the case of tipping in Washington State, the result has been the service that you get in restaurants is fantastic. You're not getting disgruntled employees. You're not getting lazy employees. It's pretty rare, even at like a, a dive bar, to get anything less than great service. And it's consistent. And you've got all kinds of people from all kinds of walks of life. You've got people who are clearly college educated doing this job because it pays so much money. And should I have to go back to work? <laughs> save me, save me. Uh, then I would, of course, go back into waiting tables. <laughs> what, what else am I gonna be? D to make that kind of money? Uh, a doctor? I don't have the qualifications. A uh, lawyer? I don't even play one on TV. So it's crazy. I think we need to just get away from tipping entirely. If there was a restaurant that said, hey, look, no nonsense, no BS, 20 bucks a head out the door. You get a soft drink, you get an entree of your choice, and it includes the tax and there's no tipping. Oh, I'd be all about it. Oh, somebody please open that. It'd be great. And well, but different foods cost different amounts. They don't have to, you just portion it differently. You want a big meal? Oops, all mashed potatoes. You can do that. No one's going to care. So that's uh, some thoughts I had. I just figured it was important to get some extra content up from my members, from my folks who just can't get enough. Now that the second channel's gone, I don't really have a place to hide stuff like this. And now that my comedy channel's been 
demonetized for because of YouTube being the devil. Uh, yeah, now that's happened. Eh, this is it, baby. All in. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you being a member and supporting it.